some weird sounds coming from there. So, this is my new turbo. I decided, there's stuff sticking out of the box, to stick with CX Racing because despite the problems I had in the past and the problems I had ordering this, well, not really the problem I had ordering it, but the problem I had selecting it. Um, it's weird that that could have just fallen out of there. Um, yeah, I decided to give them a try again because they have a new line of turbos. And their new line is called their X-Series. So basically about their X-Series is that they're no longer made of Chinesium. Well, they probably are still made of Chinesium. They're supposedly manufactured in the U.S. So... And I'm not sure if they actually say manufactured in the U.S. or just assembled in the U.S. Because I'm willing to take a bet a lot of stuff is probably still made over in China. 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 And then they just put them together here in the United States. But made in the U.S., supposedly, and dual, true dual ball bearing. It's not a hybrid ball bearing. Random parts just floating around inside the box. Need to work on your packaging, CX Racing. Jing the jingling wasn't coming from that, so that's good. Oh, it does come with the water cooling pipes. I didn't think it did. Right off the bat, some of the things I'm... Oh, it's already installed. Never mind. I was going to say it was supposed to come with a um, restrictor, but it's already installed inside the turbo. Didn't know it came with these, that's cool. If I do decide to water cool it, which I guess I probably should. But it doesn't say that these come with it on the website, but it's good to know. Alright. So, miscellaneous fittings for water cooling, your oil outlet, which is actually pretty small. I'm probably going to take the one off my old turbo and put that one on since it's an AN fitting. Um, a gasket for the oil return, and then obviously a T3 gasket for the um, Turbski. Had to order. What the China. Is that? No, oh, it's the nut from the fucking V-Van. That's cool. Not like I didn't need that. Nut somewhere around here. I'll just have to. Anyways, so I had to order a V-Van because even though it's a V-Van outlet, it doesn't come with the appropriate V-Van for hopefully it's the right size, which it doesn't look like it's the right fucking size. So, anyways, I guess, Jesus, that's big, what she said. So anyways, this is their new X-Series. This is, um, like I said, it's made in America. It's dual ball bearing. Uh, this is a GT3576R. Or it's a, should I say it's a 76R clone. Um, motherfucker. Jesus, this thing's big. It doesn't spin very well for a, a ball bearing. So, oh man, it's light. So it's got a um, dot six three exhaust housing on it. So I want it to, hopefully it'll spool decently on my tiny little engine. Um, looks like it's balanced. Yeah, it's balanced. It was really weird. I mean, it's not that weird, I guess, but... Another water cooling fitting, even though I have two in the bag. I guess they just stuck it in there and 
I'm probably <laughs> I'm probably the first sucker to order one of these things, so it wouldn't surprise me. Let's get you zoomed in there. This is a 11 blade billet wheel. Anti-surge compressor housing, supposedly. Doesn't look like it is. We'll pull it apart, take a look. Oh no, yeah, that's actually an anti-surge housing. So yeah, I'm gonna pull it apart and uh, measure the blades, just make sure that they um, match what the specs say. So like I said, it's supposed to be a, a GT3576R, but looking at the CX Racing website and actually looking at the um, the specs like of the wheel, the wheel's like slightly larger and the exhaust, I think the exhaust side's about the same. But you know, it's not a perfect, it's not a replica of a GT3576R. One of the big differences is that the, um, the true Garrett one is actually a nine blade compressor wheel or a nine blade billet wheel as opposed to a um, 11 blade billet wheel. So as far as it performing like an actual um, 35, 3576R, that's going to be questionable because um, I mean, even if the compressor wheels are the same size, if they're not the same design, uh, the characteristics of the wheel, uh, because the characteristics of the compressor wheel and the uh, turbine wheel have a lot to do with how the turbo performs, not just the size or the number of blades that are on it. So, get some wrenches, grab my calipers, pull this guy apart. So I guess first I'll look at the compressor side. Oh yeah, look at that. It is an actual anti-surge housing. You can see the uh, little line in there. It's not just, it doesn't just have the fancy holes drilled in there to make it look like an anti-surge housing. It's actually a real anti-surge housing. Nice. Casting looks adequate, like always. God, this is massive. 83, 83.9, 63.2. Hmm. Well, that's a little weird. I think they may have sent me the wrong turbo. So yeah, the interesting thing is that there's nothing, there's no labeling on this thing to tell you what kind it is. There's no labeling on the box. There's nothing, no spec sheet or anything inside the box. No, oh, there was something on the box and it got ripped off. That's interesting. I wonder what's up with that. All right, so the turbo that I ordered the turbine, the compressor wheel is supposed to be 58 by 76.8. This one is 63 by 84. <laughs> That's fuck. Ah, oh, Jesus frickin' Christ, seriously? Yeah, so 84. Let me make sure my caliper's not. No. You know what? I'll use another caliper. Let's just. 6383.9. It doesn't even match the specs for their. Um, it doesn't even match the specs for their 3582 because the 3582 is. Is that lightning? The fuck. Oh yeah, because the 3582 is supposed to be uh, 61.4 by 82. So now I have the question of what should I do in this situation? Do I send it back? Or do I just go ahead and run the 82 or 83 and some change that this thing is? Let's look at the exhaust side. <laughs> uh, I mean, I can't be mad. It, it's a bigger turbo. It's just that I went with the 76 because I didn't want the thing to spool at 8,000 RPM. I wanted something that was going to spool at a reasonable, at a reasonable RPM. Yeah, there's no serial numbers. Oh, these are these go in specific spots. Yeah, there's no serial numbers. I mean, there's a, at least dot six three AR written on the exhaust housing, but on the compressor side, there's there's nothing to show you what compressor it is, other than pulling it apart and measuring it. I mean, I guess I mean I can just run this. I can run the uh, I can run the eighty two and just uh. Shoot for 500. 
called a done deal. See, most people would probably pull this thing apart, or would probably pull this thing out of the box, throw it on the car, and never know. You know, had never have known that it wasn't what they ordered. It's the second time. Well, I guess the first time I got what I ordered, I just assumed specs that I shouldn't have assumed. But this time, I ordered something very specific, and I did not receive that specific thing. There's a tiny little exhaust wheel. The exhaust wheel looks really, really small. So the exhaust wheel is supposed to be before I measure it, let's just, let's just see. All right, so the exhaust wheel on this guy is supposed to be uh, 68 by 62. So yeah, let, let's see. Let's see what size this, this wheel is here. The exhaust wheel is, exhaust wheel is 53 by 60. 53.59. Alright, so what we're doing here is these are specs from the website. So, yeah, you probably can't read that for shit. Anyway, so uh, 58. How about you stay focused? So, uh, 58 by 76 and 68 by 62. So, let's look at the turbine first. So, turbine. We have 59.997, so we'll just call that 60, just in case you don't believe me. So we'll just go ahead and call that 60. And we got 54.98, so we'll call that 55. So then we put this back together, and then I will measure the other side. Stop trying to focus on everything. So on the major, go to the blade tip there. We're at about 83.8. And then 63 on the minor. So all right, so here's the thing. Here's the interesting thing. Um, the compressor can be excused by saying, oh, they just sent me the wrong turbo. Fine, they, they sent me a, um, a uh, 3583 instead of a, which doesn't exist, it's a 3582. So, well, 3582 is what the other thing is, but there is no 83.8, so I could be measuring it wrong at the base. I mean, they could just go ahead and call this 82, but it's, but the, the weird thing is, the really weird thing is, is the turbine size. Um, they don't have this turbo, the X series turbo in this configuration, or no, they don't have an X series turbo that has this size exhaust wheel. This size exhaust wheel is basically a 30 series. It's a 30 frame uh, turbo. So basically this would be, if Garrett were to name it, it would be a GT3084 r would be the turbo. <laughs> so as to whether or not I'm gonna send it back, I'm not gonna send it back um, because I actually wanted a 30 frame turbo, um, but they didn't have any listed on their website. Even the turbos that they call GT30s on the website, they list a 35 size exhaust housing, um, which is really strange. And I sent them an email um, and I asked them, I was like, I noticed that you have a GT30 uh, 76R and you have a GT35 76R. And when I look at your specs, they have the exact same exhaust wheel. So if they have the same exhaust wheel 
and the same compressor wheel, aren't they the same turbo? Um, yeah, so I mean, I never got a response back. And I, I asked them again, and I was like, do you have, are you sure the specs on your website are accurate? Because it seems like maybe someone just copy pasted a bunch of specs from the same turbo and you know, whatever, so. And once again, I got no response back when I asked that question. So, and I even asked them, are you going to have a 30 series, um, a 30 frame X series turbo? And they said yes, later this year. So, hey, maybe I got lucky and I got the first one. Um, it just would have been nicer if I had gotten the 76. It just would have been nice if it was, uh, you know, the 30 or the 76 size compressor wheel as opposed to the, uh, the 84 that's on this one. So this looks like a very interesting combination. Um, with the exhaust housing being this small, it should spool very uh, fairly quickly. Another kind of annoying thing is that I got the dot six three housing because I thought it was this size turbine wheel on it. You know, so I wanted it to flow enough to support the compressor. Um, but now I'm at a point where I've got an even bigger compressor and a much smaller turbine wheel and also in the dot six three AR. If I had known the turbine wheel was this small, I would have gotten the eight two AR. But if I got the eight two AR, it probably wouldn't have been this turbine wheel. So once again, this is my problem with CX racing. And that is the fact that they do not provide accurate information about the products that they sell. And when I reached out to them to ask questions to make sure I was indeed buying the correct thing this time, I got no response. I got one response when I asked if they were going to release um, when I was asking about the X-Series Turbo, I got an immediate response from their sales rep. But then when I asked more questions, I got no answers. But yeah, so other than it being uh, totally not what I ordered or what I was expecting, uh, you know, the quality of it looks good. It's definitely a very nice looking turbo. The machine work is very good. The uh, turbine wheel looks pretty good for a, um, a billet wheel. So I don't think that spins well enough for it being a uh, ball bearing turbo, supposedly. If I look through the oil return, I, it definitely looks like a ball bearing cartridge in there or, you know, a ball bearing center section. Like I said, um, I'm not too upset about the, um, the size of the exhaust housing on this thing. But yeah, I'm not too upset about uh, the size of the the size of the, of the turbine wheel because I want it a 30 series turbo. But I am just kind of concerned about some of the other weird stuff. But yeah, if that's a uh, that's a pretty big wheel for um, it's a pretty. It's a pretty big compressor wheel for the size of a turbine. Should spool quick, but I'm concerned about the characteristics. I'm gonna run into issues of, uh, like I said, running out of space on the top end of things because I can barely tighten that. That battery's about to die. So anyways, I'm gonna throw this back together, do some pondering. I'm probably gonna keep it because while it's not what I ordered, it's kind of what I want it. Um, like if they had this turbo I advertised on their website, I would have bought it. Uh, it's just annoying that, like I said, they're, uh, they, they really suck at providing accurate specs for their products. You want to buy from China? That's great. Buy from China. Buy toys from China. China in particular. China. China. I have people that I know in China. 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 China.
China, 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 China. I've been saying China, 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 China And you want to get a job in China? I don't knock China. How can I dislike China? A man from China. China. You have China. Carl, take China. 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 China is over here. Look at what China is doing. They're learning from China. 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 Okay. Look at that. Isn't that nice? China. 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 China, 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 China. And by the way, I love China. I mean, I love China. How can you not love China? I love China. China, 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 China. And you know China, 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 South China, China, China. People say, oh, you don't like China. I like China. China. I love China. China. China all the time. China. When was the last time you heard China?